Engineers. I'm Mr. Vasquez. And I'm Ms. Lowe. So there's a lot of questions, concerns, and also misconceptions about what are safe practices in public spaces. So as we come back to school this year, we're going to give you an awesome little video to show you how to stay safe on campus. Here are some guidelines to follow when mask wearing is required. Cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing. Be sure your mask fits properly. Cover your mouth and nose areas, and also wear a mask in addition to clear face shields. Face shields protect entry points on your face, including your eyes, but may not protect others from droplets that are emitted into the air when someone coughs or sneezes. Let's look at some examples of how to properly wear a mask. Well, okay, that's a problem now. Your nose is exposed. Come on, try again, buddy. Oh, you're not even trying now. Okay, we need help. Miss Lowe, maybe you can help us out here. Perfect. Face is covered along with the nose and mouth area. All right, let's talk about social distancing. Keep six feet between yourself and others. Maintain six feet while eating or drinking when your mask might be temporarily lowered. Follow directions posted on signs or on the floor. And remember, vaccination provides protection, but people can still transmit viruses. For this reason, it's important to cover your mouth and nose whenever you sneeze or cough. You might want to do the vampire move, which we're going to demonstrate for you later on. So here's an example of poor social distancing. Notice how there is no mindfulness of distance between others. And here's a much better example. Notice how both people are aware of the distance between themselves. Now that was much better. I'm not even sure if those two even know each other, but let's say you want to greet somebody that you do know. You always want to prevent the spread of germs. So cover your mouth whenever you cough or sneeze using your elbow. We're going to refer to that as the vampire move in this video. Notice how this next person forgets to use it. Hey man, what's up? <laughs> how you doing? Nasty. Yeah, nasty is right, buddy. Now let's take a look at how to properly greet somebody. Maybe consider covering your mouth with one elbow and then greeting the person with the other. How you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Are you Good to see you. Now let's talk about one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of germs. Washing your hands. Use warm water to rinse your hands at first and then apply soap. Scrub your hands and fingers thoroughly for 20 seconds. And don't forget to also scrub underneath your fingernails using the palm of your hand. We're going to demonstrate this for you momentarily. Notice how this person just rushes through the process and really does not know what he's doing. Now let's try that again. This time we're going to have Miss Lowe help us out by demonstrating how to do this more effectively. Notice how she takes her time throughout the process and at the very end, she avoids touching the handle of the faucet with her bare hand. Look how awesome of a job she's doing so far. But I'm pretty sure she might forget to do one little thing. Don't forget under your nails! Oh, she remembered. All right, now she has to rinse off all of that excess soap and get all those germs off of her hands. And if possible, avoid touching the handle of the faucet. You can use your elbow or a towel, which she has here. So sometimes one cannot always go to a sink or find a restroom nearby before washing their hands. That is why we need to cover the topic of hand sanitizing. If you cannot wash your hands before eating or touching your face, you must hand sanitize. So use hand sanitizer if there is no access to soap and warm water. Sanitize your hands and fingers thoroughly for 20 seconds in a similar fashion as Miss Lowe showed you while washing her hands. And remember to sanitize under your fingernails as well. Do not hesitate to use hand sanitizer if it is provided for you. You can also bring your own, but be sure to actually follow through with the protocols, unlike this person here. Yeah, I worry about him, but let's take a look at how to properly sanitize one's hands.
Don't forget under the nails. By doing our part, we can help each other stay safe and healthy. We can do this together by remembering health and safety guidelines when we share common spaces. Let's see what can happen if we forget, though. <sighs> Why didn't she wash her hands? <laughs> well, thankfully it's just a movie, huh, folks? But remember, mask wearing, social distancing, washing hands, hand sanitizing, and following all health and safety guidelines are steps that we can take to be safe on campus. Thanks for watching and be safe, warriors.